Hello, this is Don Slater with a quick demonstration on the use of events in Alice 3.1. Unlike Alice 2, Alice 3 does not have a separate events editor. Instead, Alice 3 uses the Java model of adding event listeners to a program. A listener is a programming element that will activate actions when a specific event, such as a key press or a mouse click, occurs. This demonstration will use the scene you see before you, with the hare, the pig, and the hedge. This is not meant to be an exhaustive tutorial on events, but rather a demonstration of some key principles. Hopefully you will then be able to experiment on your own. In Alice 3, all event listeners are initialized in a special procedural method of the scene class, named appropriately Initialize Event Listeners. We find this procedure by clicking on the Scene tab in the Alice editor, and here we see our list of procedures. We find Initialize Event Listeners, click on Edit, and this gives us an, uh, an editing window in which to add our code. You will see that there is already one listener that is here, which is the listener that starts our program when we click on the Run button. A very interesting event that we have that does not exist in Alice 2 is this add default model manipulation. This allows us to manipulate models inside the program during runtime or as the program is running. I can take this procedural tab and drag it into my event listeners procedure. Now when I click on the Run button, my program starts, but I can now click on um, an object in the scene and manipulate it by just clicking on it, dragging it around. If I hold down the Shift key and then click on an object, that allows me to raise an object up or down. If I hold on the PC the Control key, and on the Mac the Option key, and click, this allows me to turn an object to the left and to the right. This is a very cool event, and very useful, um, as we create more interactive programs. Other events that can be added can be added by using this Add Event Listener button. Here we see a, a, selection, a menu selection of different events that are act available for us. The keyboard allows us to add key press, key press listeners and object movers, so that, for example, the object mover will allow us to select a particular object in the scene, click on the Run button, and now I can use the arrow keys after clicking in the arrow so that the... and this is important. Whenever I'm using key press uh, events, I need to click inside the scene to set the focus of the program so that it knows to listen to the keyboard. And now I can use the arrow keys to move an object to the left and to the right. In combination with the default model option, then, by changing its direction, the up arrow is always forward. The, back arrow, the down arrow is always backwards. Again, if I turn it, forward, backward, left, right. Another key press listener would be to add just a key press listener um, and then I need to listen for a specific key and respond to it. This requires the use of an if statement. So I pull an if statement in, true, and now I can drag the is key tile to replace true and it asks me what key I want 
and so I will select H for the hair and I will then tell the hair to move up a meter and to move down a meter and so H will have the the hair jump up or down and if I want the pig to do the same thing I will again drag in the next if statement the E is key, key tile select P select pig from my instance menu and now tell the pig to move up one meter move down one meter and now when I run my program I again remember to click inside the scene to set the focus and now when I press H the hair moves up and down I press P the P, pig moves up and down so I, if I press any other key on the keyboard I accidentally hit the arrow key at that point the 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 objects will or will not respond depending upon what I have uh, what I, what key I have pressed. I also have mouse listeners, and so I can have it just respond to any click on the screen anywhere, or to respond specifically to an object. Select the object, and now, again, using an if statement to discriminate between the different objects. Now I have to build a relational expression. All right, comparing something, in this case, I'm interested in the hedge, to the hedge, which doesn't make sense at this point. But now I drag this tile in to replace the first hedge. So now I'm saying, if the model that I have, uh, if the model I click on is the hedge, then I'm going to do together. I'm going to have the pig turn to face the hedge, and I'm also going to have the hair. Turn to face the hedge. So that when I run my program and I click on the hedge, all right, both objects turn to face it. 